everyone in this video we are going to solve a problem which is based on the concept of relative density so let's get started here is the problem which reads the volume of 50 grams of a substance is 20 centimeter cube if the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube find the relative density of the substance will the substance float or sink in water now let us list out whatever is given in the question. First of all, the volume of the substance is given to be 20 centimeter cube and the mass of the substance is given to be 50 grams and also the density of water is given to us which is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now with this information, we need to find out what is the relative density of the substance and also we need to check if the substance will float or sink on water. Now let's do that. First of all, we need to find the relative density of the substance. Now we know that the volume of the substance and the mass of the substance is given. So from this we can calculate the density of the substance first of all. So the density of the substance is the mass divided by volume of the substance which is 50 divided by 20 grams per centimeter cube. So this turns out to be 2.5 grams per centimeter cube. So this is the density of the substance. So the relative density of the substance as we know the formula for it which is the density of the substance divided by the density of water. We, all, we have found out the density of the substance to be 2.5 grams per centimeter cube and we have the density of water to be 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now on putting these two things into the formula we get the relative density of the substance to be 2.5 divided by 1 which turns out to be 2.5. So the relative density of this substance is 2.5. Now we have found the relative density of the substance. Now we need to check if this substance will sink or float in water. So we have found the density of the substance to be 2.5 grams per centimeter cube and the density of water is given to be 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now we see that the density of the substance is more as compared to the density of water. The density of substance is 2.5 whereas the density of water is 1, 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now we know that when the density of a substance is greater as compared to water, the substance is bound to sink. So here this substance will also sink in water. So with this we have solved the problem and I hope the solution was completely understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.